What are the platforms that are less friendly than than YouTube? I would say Twitter. Okay. <laughs> or I, as everyone keeps saying, X, also known as Twitter. Um, I, I would say that's not very friendly. Uh, that's where I've had people. It it tends to be people who don't work on social media or they don't work with social media in any way. They just have this Twitter platform. Mm -hmm. And it tends to be these people who work in academics. So they're more the academic side of English teaching while we're like the YouTube side, let's say. Yeah. And they just absolutely hate us. And <laughs> I know that there is some good reason, <laughs> but when they just come after you for, I mean, I'm not even going to mention like why they've come after me before because the reasons are so, so, so ridiculous. Um, but I, I don't know what it is, but they really will just do anything to criticize you in any way. Like there was a video I did and they were criticizing that I hadn't talked fully about, um, I think it was just about assimilation. It was like a, a YouTube short. So it was mm -hmm. 60 seconds <laughs> yeah. and I talked about assimilation and I talked about one aspect of assimilation. And this person was like ripping into the 60 second video, like, um, this clip uh, doesn't show everything about assimilation. Students, there is way more to assimilation than just this. And it's like, calm down. <laughs> 60 <laughs> seconds. What more can I fit in? It's better to niche down, focus on one aspect, and do that in a video. And if it takes 10 videos, then it takes 10 videos. But don't just yeah. squeeze everything into 60 seconds because you're just going to blow people's minds probably not in a good way. <laughs> everything about uh, this 60 second video will make you fluent in English. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next like one you should put and then send and then tag that person in it. What do you think about this one? They would Is... find something wrong. They would. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, if you're not happy with the current content that's out there, then why don't you start your own YouTube channel? And that's what I usually comment on those. I say like, hey, those are some good points. Show me your video. Send me the link. Yeah. 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 And then they either don't or say, well, that doesn't make yours right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I usually just delete them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just block them. And I'm just like, like, if yeah. that's how you want to spend your time, because it's you're curating your own content. That's what, like, yeah. that's why you have a channel. So, yeah. That's why they have that function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's always easier to to bring someone down than it is to lift yourself up. It, that's something I always tell myself, that it's easier for me to like go to your channel and be like, this video is rubbish, than it is for me to put in the work and the time and the effort into creating my own content um, in, in the way that I want it to be, you know? Yeah. Um, so I always remember that when people comment these things but yeah they don't they don't get they don't really get to me because i'm like just start your own channel dude like it's, it's not that hard yeah <laughs> the hard bit is growing it <laughs> but starting isn't hard <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah there's a lot of people who do who do that leaving comments i actually have one funny situation um it must be like eight months nine months now somebody just keeps leaving the same comment under somebody else's comment and then it gets flagged every single time as like a spam comment so i see it there and so i block them and then another account and another account and another account so they must have had like 30 no no like 300 of these bots already <laughs> and it's it's like the dumbest comment too it's just like some kind of stupid rhyming joke from the other person's comment it's just like pointless and i'm amazed how long people can keep that up <laughs> well you'd be surprised you really would i mean some of the most persistent people i've ever experienced have been people online like stalkers online like i sadly had to go through a few of those um but they have been the most persistent people and honestly like there's a part of you that 
really admires their persistence because it's like god if i got like if, if i made like seven different instagram accounts and each of them got blocked yeah i was still persistent yeah. <laughs> to, like contact this one english teacher you know you've got to admire it ad admire it to some degree but yeah also it, it is kind of like i don't know like step outside a little bit <laughs> yeah like, go, go touch some grass it's okay to <laughs> leave your phone and leave social media but yeah i think these people that i mean they're either bots or they're just very sad and very lonely and yeah I, i've learned to develop more understanding over the years so when i see these sorts of comments i'm just like like you wouldn't write that if you were a happy person. So yeah, that person must have a, be having a really bad day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, actually, it's interesting because there was someone, this was a, a long time ago, who was complaining about something on my channel, and I, like I don't even remember what it was about. It was that long ago, and I just commented saying something like, "You know that that's really nasty. There's no need for that." And usually, I don't. I, I don't comment things like that. But this one particular person, I was like, that's that's really nasty. You don't need to say that. And they actually responded and said, actually, I had a really bad day the other day when I commented that. I'm I'm really sorry. I just found out some bad news. I can't remember, like uh, I don't know, their dog had died or something. And um yeah, they didn't think that I would read their comments, is what they said. They're like, I genuinely didn't think you would read this comment. So some people just use us as like what are called virtual punching bags, I yeah. think. Like they have a bad day. What's gonna help? Oh well, I'm just gonna comment on this English teacher's channel, tell her that she looks fat. I don't know why I keep saying that because literally no one. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I'll probably like get loads of people from this video going to my channel. Like, Hello, you're so fat. Um or or the opposite. People will be like, How can you put out this? this material making fun of people like making light of situations where <laughs> you, you know what i mean it could go it could go the other way but people people will find a way yeah they'll find a way to like if they're determined they will spin they will spin that, that's something that twitter has taught me is like people will spin anything to fit their own narrative well how would it make you feel if someone dedicated their whole channel to making videos about the mistakes in your videos so i how would i respond to this question i'm in a very unique position and i'll say this because students have become ambassadors <laughs> and I don't really get negative comments um, because students come very quickly and say, don't do that. Tiffany's a, a kind person. And so it kind of mitigates that uh, tendency of people wanting to be negative. Mm -hmm. um, I'm saying that to say, I don't foresee anyone coming to make negative videos about me. Let's say that does happen. Mm. If the entire channel's about me, I would reach out to them privately and say, hey, can we meet via Zoom? I want to talk to you and see what's going on. For me, there's a phrase, hurt people hurt people. So if someone is dedicated an entire channel to picking or being or nitpicking at someone's mistakes, um, for me, it says more about them. And I want to speak to them to see, hey, like what's going on? Like what's what's really the issue? What's what's really happening? Um, and not in the standpoint of being angry, like, how dare you? It's more of, hey, let's talk. What's going on? Like, I think there are other things you could talk about on a YouTube channel, like what's really going on. So I would actually reach out to them personally to have a private conversation. Um, I would never, ever respond in a video, um, like slandering their name, because that's not who I am. I don't think retaliation is not the best thing to do. It's more of people are, we're all human beings. So if you talk to someone one on one, you get to understand who they are and their reasoning for their actions. And I think that has a greater effect. What if it came down to you have a popular channel and they want to grow theirs and they know that by creating this controversy, they're going to grow their channel? What if it just came down to that? Would That's an excuse, not the root. <laughs> so I I'd keep talking to them like, that's not what it is. Let's keep talking. So whether it be, oh, I need money. 
Okay, that's the real issue. You need money and you've seen on YouTube people that do reaction videos get popular and they get more money. So even in that, the issue is not with me. The issue is you need right, more money. Right. All right, so let's talk about that. Why do you need more money? What's going on? Oh, my mom is sick. Okay, so what other ways? I would actually seek a way to help them. Like, hey, how can I help you? As opposed to you slandering someone else's name, not even just mine, how can I help you with that? And this is something that's genuine. Like I would genuinely do that as opposed to immediately getting upset. That sounds like a great, a great reaction. And anybody who is uh, dealing with that right now, maybe that'll give them some uh, motivation. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. How would you feel if someone dedicated their channel to making videos about mistakes that you made in your videos? Does anybody do that? Do yeah. people do that or is this really hypothetical? They do. That's horrible. It's, this is not hypothetical. This is uh, okay, yeah, I, very, like you've been off YouTube for a while, but like when yeah. you come back, there's surprises waiting for you. So, <laughs> I, You know what I have seen um, before before you answer the question, what I have seen and I don't like it, actually a colleague of mine, I won't, won't name a colleague, just collaborator, a great guy who has great stuff. Uh, he never does stuff like that. He did a video though where he kind of complained about a style of video, not not one person's, uh, not one teacher's, but he complained about a style, I totally get it, because I don't like it either, which is like, you know, you shouldn't say this, you should say this, you know, don't, don't say, say this. this, stop saying this. And, and I totally, I totally agree, but but he got a lot of backlash on his video. First of all, he doesn't, didn't usually do that. He's this really creative guy and he does his own stuff, you know, and he made one video where he was saying he didn't like that. And he he didn't make direct reference, but he made enough. You know, it was clear who he was talking about, and people just jumped on him. And he came back with a video like he was so sad and apologetic. He was like, "Guys, I'm so sorry that that was so oh, stupid. Why did I do that?" So I was like, "Okay, cool, man. That's cool. You did that." Um, but but what you're talking about is something even <laughs> something we're not. You know, saying like you know actually like you know this mistake and this is not how this is done. Is that what you mean? Like even yeah. like typos, typos in what you do. And, you know, you're not a real like, teacher. Th this is where, this is where the, the criticism has come up. And there's like, they, they have actually like garnered a really serious following, uh, mm. very active. And I'm curious. I'm gonna have to check and this out. was built, built on the back of a channel that has like 4 million, 5 million subscribers and that they, they just like went after this channel like fill me not. in after and so curious. this happened for like a year and a half already straight okay. um so it's like, continuing now oh yeah it's still going and uh there's like a huge spotlight on it but um but yeah i'll 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 send you something okay. after so the, the, the last the last I was really following, I, I guess it just, it, it wore me out actually, which is why maybe I haven't seen this one, the whole native speaker, non-native speaker thing. Oh yeah. Uh, with, uh, again, why name names? Although at the time I was, I was in podcasts and interviews talking about it a lot because I was really pissed off. Let's just say it involves kangaroo English on one side uh, and another channel on the other side. We'll just, uh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Kangaroo English was, was the, the good side of it. And it was talking about a certain channel that was focusing too much on a native speaker being better. Yeah. And so, so I followed that and I was very vocal about that. But after that, I was so exhausted that, um, you know, I, 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 I don't think I've, <laughs> I think I just don't look for stuff like that. But now I think I'm I'm curious. I'll check it out. Sorry. Now that you brought up that, I'm really interested because um, I'll, I'll have to send you this video that we put out like a month and a half ago or so uh, that talks about both of these situations together in one video. Oh. So I'll uh, I'll send that over to you. But um, interesting what you oh. just said about the kangaroo or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so like you, so you think it's okay that he made that criticism. Now that's interesting too, because he came back and kind of uh, not apologized, but kind of like yes and no. I mean, I think the way the way he did it, and I didn't know uh, I didn't know him that well when I first saw it. So I was like, once I started to get to know him, um, anyway, things changed a little bit. So so maybe maybe it wasn't right. Maybe it wasn't right. But I think I think the fact that he brought the discussion to the spotlight. I mean, what happened too, if if you know the story, is 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 the Daily Mail in London, uh, which this person's channel talk about. It, they have a they they put her stuff in a column, 
So it's 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 not just on YouTube. It's going out about you know yeah. certain accents are better than others and all that stuff. And that's just right. that gets so heated, you know. Well, you and, see, and, I, I and guess got him funny. heated too. But but it's true. He didn't put a whole series out. He put out a thing where he was just saying he thought it was wrong. Uh, but yeah, I'm not super happy with 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 how it all went down. But I, I am happy that it brought more people into the conversation that that hadn't been thinking about it. You know, it, that that is what I liked about it. And I think more people left that thinking, oh, yeah, it didn't occur to me. I just thought a native speaker teacher was better, you know, uh -huh. or so accent was better. I never really thought about that before. You know, that's the same with like, you know, race relations, gender stuff. You know, it's like, oh, you know what? I never thought about it. You know, I like when that happens because that, that's when things can really change. You know? Right. Um, well, yeah, I, th I think it's good to provoke that kind of thought. Um, but unfortunately, in a lot of those situations, there's a scapegoat, right? Ah, True. Um, yeah yeah and, and especially it, when someone gets too popular or it's fun you know or not so and, popular before, and this like, is this down. comes up every if there time was right? if there was motivation to take the person down because of their popularity then that gets me also really upset uh, see so and that's a that involved there. that's not cool that's and that's a, if that's a factor that has to be considered here too because you're right. you even said, yeah, you even you're said right. like they publish her in the daily mail so so this level of credibility uh, the audience is assigning some level of responsibility to them. Like now yeah. that you have this thing or that yeah. so many yeah. people see it, it yeah. has such visibility. So now you're more responsible. And that's yeah. interesting how people maybe wouldn't be so critical of someone who didn't get so many views. Sure. 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 But the other, the argument then is also just, you know, they're reaching so many more people. They have so much more influence on it. So if they're if they're saying stuff like you know this accent is better than that or whatever, if you're if you're not reaching a lot of people, <laughs> it's it's not as it's not doing as much you know damage as a strong word. But anyway, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, what you're saying. But back to your question. I mean, it, it's funny because I, if if somebody made what would I do? I mean, if somebody made a channel or even just a video, you know. Uh, coming down on what I do and seeking it, I would, I would definitely, you know, uh, feel, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sensitive about stuff. Yeah. I'd, I'd feel like defensive. I, you know, but I I'd try to think, you know, why they did it, what would be a way to respond if at all. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, like over the years, like when people have um, made comments, like, you know, I spelled Tunisia wrong once, or like I, I actually, I put, I put a map of Africa and Moroccan students got crazy because oh. of the questions. Hair yeah. and like that kind of stuff. So you know, I, I get, I get that. Um, but it's 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 usually like people that you know. The reason they notice it so so closely is because they follow me and they already like what I do. So they're just kind of pointing it out. They're not they're not getting on my case about it. And then I have a song about the world's capitals. That in the end, when it got to Israel and Palestine, what I do now when I do it is I just say you know, uh, and the and the. Um, historic cities in Israel and Palestine, you know, or something. I don't say anything about Ramallah or, or Beth Bethlehem. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, if, if somebody uh, created a channel uh, to talk about how like learning English through rap is, is, you know, uh, BS, and that's not, doesn't work. And this, you know, this, what has this guy been doing trying to teach, teach that way? I think it would be so, you know, what their claims would be so preposterous that I just, either wouldn't respond or it'd be really easy to be like, okay, I see why there might be a knee jerk reaction that what I do doesn't work, but you know, here's all of this <laughs> experience. You know, I have so much evidence of it working that it, yeah. I, I don't put the evidence out there because to me it's sort of self-evident what I do. Um, and with the comments I get from students about how it's helped, but you know, I also have all kinds of stuff if I needed to, to show how well, yeah. well it works. Well, may, maybe <laughs> not if they, maybe not if they were all, were all like, you're a complete fraud. Not, not like that. But you mentioned before you made a mistake spelling Tunisia wrong, <laughs> okay. right? So, so like, imagine that somebody okay. yeah. took that mistake from your I video see. and they make a video and they're like, this is not correct. And then they show you, they show you teaching the wrong yeah. thing. Yeah. And then yeah. they say, this yeah. is the correct yeah. thing. Learn correct English. And then, well, and then the title of the, the title of the video is, uh, do not make mistakes by fluency MC, and it has your face on the cover. That is yeah. ludicrous! Wow. So yeah, here but I hey, you made the mistake. You made the mistake. You left up the video. It's your fault, right? 
Wow. I mean, I guess the only silver lining of this is that it just means that there's so much educational stuff going, getting out there that this would happen in education the way it would happen, like, you know, in sports or in, in movie business or something and like that. it's so that, saturated. Right? But yeah, well, but I mean, but then again, uh, but I, I don't know. It's funny just, just how it's ironic because I was talking about maybe getting back into YouTube, just reading this book by Jennifer and everything else. But this is not making me want to go back. But <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's just it's ludicrous. It's it's really sad. Uh, and I mean, I guess it's it's just like any clickbait type of thing, right? It's like you yeah, know, you, you 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 even if you know you're going to hate these guys and disagree you want to see what they're gonna what they said and so i just think that's just that's just wow low lives 